Welcome guys to another Beach Race a fun video and here we're gonna be doing a new series called the Brutally Honest Trip Report. This is where I just do a voiceover like over my video and my previous trip report on the channel. If you want you can see this trip report, this original video down on my channel. And it's basically basically me just doing honest review on the aircraft and the airline and the flight was good. So yeah guys, uh yeah, let's just get on to the aircraft now. I and just show you how the aircraft looks. Today's flight will be an A350-900 from Bangalore to Singapore. We are now in the A350-900's business class in Singapore Airlines. The configuration is 1 to 1 as the middle row has the two configuration seats. As you can see the window from there on seat 15K which look extremely nice. For today's flight I'm sitting on row 15. And also on this aircraft, you can see the entertainment system, which is extremely nice. It looks brilliant, and it's, there's a lot of choices. Like you have the movie there, you have a lot of movies. If you just click on home, you have flight map and everything. On the side, on the, the new uh, regional A250 um, business class seats, you have the controls for the recline. And if you want to turn up the TV, the entertainment system, and you also have a remote down below. You also have the flight the attendant calling system over there. Over here, we have the mini ticket and everything which is stored over here. And that's, and yeah, with the headphones also in there. And yeah, the electrum is also very nice and spacious for just a 4 hour 30 minute flight. I have to say, it's a very good seat for the price. It was definitely worth it. Over here we have the amenity kits I've just prepared, showing you how it was. You have the card, it's a coupon card. You just have to find the store in Singapore and just scan the QR code. I'm not going to show you the QR code, obviously. Here we have the pouch for the amenity it's inside it. As you can see it looks fantastic. They are lip balm and everything like that. I'm not really much into these stuff, obviously. But yeah, it's pretty nice to get an amenity kit like other yeah, airlines. It. Here we have the safety card for the A350-900. It looks fantastically uh, good. It was very nice, detailed like any other flight would be. Uh, I don't know why. Is it just me, or do you also like the safety cards? Comment down below and tell me what airline has the best safety card. Over there, the, you can see there's no more magazines thanks to COVID and everything like that. We also, but then that's where you keep the safety card. You can see the flight map there, we're still in Bangalore and you have a divider in the middle of your seats. Uh, we're right now waiting for pushback clearance and we're about to start our pushback from Bangalore. I have to say, like as we were pushing back, there were a lot of aircrafts like the H20 Neo, H21 Neos, Indigo, AirAsia Indias, which was very nice. It was very nice for seeing all of these Indian domestic planes and airliners. Indigo's H21 Neo for me looks stunning. I don't know why. Is it just a livery? But yeah. So as we're now taxiing, we've just completed a pushback. We're taxiing to runway here for takeoff at Bangalore. And for this four hour 30 minute flight, we are, we are departing about 35 minutes early. As just to say, I was the we were the only people on the aircraft at the time because there was no one else. Um, this plane was uh, on its last flight was used from Bombay to Singapore and Singapore to Mumbai's SQ404 on its previous flight two days before I recorded this. So now we were on the take, uh, just about to take off now.
15th with turbulence as we took off and obviously I didn't like I'm waiting for the lights to come on probably just gonna turn on just to show you guys Right now, the, uh, the meal service just came. Nice. Yeah. I had a vegetarian western sa uh, meal for today. Uh, for the meal, we had a salad with some cheese, something like that, with some butter on the side. I later ordered some garlic bread to go along with it. Next, for the main course, we had a pasta, and over here, I was uh, just uh, kind of dropped my phone a little bit. And then as here we go so uh, we had a pasta uh, a green pasta with apple juice on the side it was really nice one of the best dishes for me on Singapore Airlines but other than that it's a decent meal but not for me the best thing about this aircraft as for me my best part about the aircraft was uh, uh, the takeoff sound and the aircraft hello we on the A350 and now we were and right now I just finished a two hours sleep it was so comfortable lying flat bed on the 8350 and now we were on a, we were just over Kuala Lumpur uh, like almost arriving at Singapore at this point I switched to the window seat the flight attendants let me do that so I can take a nice landing uh, clip for the YouTube video so I was now in the window seat it was very spacious compared to the middle seat basically the same thing but you had more leg room and it's a bit more bigger. On my SQ528 report from Singapore to China and Singapore 978710 business class. Compared to that, this is definitely way bigger. So now we were about 15 minutes, uh, almost 15 minutes to the, about to arrive into Singapore. And yeah, we are now on the final approach here, as you can see. This time lapse of us just approaching into Changi airport and overall for me this flight was extremely nice the one this e is or not one of the best airline like uh, experiences i've ever been on it's not my first time like on singapore lines obviously i've done many ports like the sq528 i've been on the um flights like the 777 to singapore to hong kong but other than that this is probably the best singapore lines flight i've ever had because it was very nice crew were kind everything was going well very smooth flight as well there's not that much of interruptions they had a lot of stuff to do and yeah just uh we were now on final approach just going over the ocean just going over some ships like always and yeah enjoy the landing Here. There's Singapore Line 737 Max as well. 787 10 Never seen the 737. Touchdown is smooth. Okay, that's a very smooth plan. And as I said, as we just touched down, it was an extremely smooth landing, very nice butter landing. It's definitely approved by myself. Very smooth flight as well. Out of ten, I would rate this flight. Ten out of ten, as this is the best flight experience I've ever been on, on the 850-900 for another time. Uh, yeah, like it's really nice. Singaporeans got the 850s. Like it's one of my favorite planes out there. Other than the 747 as right now we parked next to us 8350 departing for New York and we were parked right next to us 8350-900 ULR And as I deboarded off the aircraft we had a short glimpse into the 8350 cockpit and the panels and this was an amazing flight and I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I don't know, really recommend you guys to fly to Singapore Air. 
And yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video and this brutally honest video on my channel, I'll be making an Indigo one later on. But guys, if you did enjoy, please leave a like below. Subscribe if you did enjoy this video. If you like more like these, and guys, this one amazing fly again. Just to stress on that. And guys, if you did enjoy this video again, leave a like below. Subscribe. That would mean a lot. Thank you for uh, watching this video. And see you in the next piece of ASAP fun video.